In this video, I'm going to talk about Teams integration, Teams integration within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Only Channel application. So Teams uh, has multiple focal points within the customer service interface. It helps you to chat with your agents, with your colleagues, with your supervisors uh, in the middle of a conversation with the customer. Now, those all things can be achieved by using an embedded chat. So embedded chat using Teams. So it's an agent in app Teams chat experience. Meeting integration using Teams. So you can set up a meeting. Agents interact directly with Dynamics data in Teams meeting. Customer support swarming. So if an agent uh, is unable to resolve a ticket, then agent contacts the experts uh, in uh, an experience called a swarming, whereby the group of team members uh, collaboratively work together to resolve a customer issue. Now, an agent can also join Teams call. It allows agents to invite customers to calls on Microsoft Teams. Now, all those things can be done by enabling the preview. Most of the settings are in preview. So we need to go into Power Platform Admin Center. Uh, end users can add and join Teams meeting and install the 365 app for Teams for users in organizations. So this settings, we may need to turn this on. Okay, connected chats, uh, connect Teams to Dynamics 365 records. Ability to show Dynamics 365 data in Teams. Link Dynamics records to Teams channel. Enable Teams chat inside Dynamics 365 and enable Teams chat for multi-session users. Now the setting which uh, I'm showing you over here is like uh, in the productivity pane, if you see the Teams chat, you can directly chat with the user or maybe you can create a new connected chat. Now under collaboration, you can see embedded chat using Teams, meeting integration using Teams, which is in preview, customer support swarming, which is in preview and join a Teams call, which is in preview. Now this is how the chat conversation will look like. Now, from a uh, Power Platform Admin Center perspective, you need to go into the end user experience under collaboration, and then you need to turn this on, okay? Now, once you turn this on, then additional D365 integration settings can be turned on using this interface, okay? And then you can connect your Teams chat to Dynamics 365 records. So let me show you that in action. But before we move ahead, let me show you one conversation which is happening over here. So I'm as Alex, so I'm as an agent is conversing with a service a customer request. So, so this is the user which is specifying issues regards to password and Alex is responding to the request. So this is the example we are going to look into. Okay, yeah. So before we move ahead, let me show you the Power Platform Admin Center. Uh, under Power Platform Admin Center, uh, if you go to your correct environment and go to settings, okay. So let it load. So if you navigate to your correct environment, minus customer service trial, and if I go to settings, then under settings, uh, I think under collaboration, uh, you may need to turn on some settings, okay? So one of the setting is Teams integration, which is show record name and type to unauthorized users when unfurling links in Teams chat and then install the Dynamics 365 app for Teams for users in organization. So with the setting, you can let people in your org see business data while working in Teams. Now there are additional D365 Teams integration settings, which you can click over here, and then you can control those settings. Now this will take you to this page. Here you may need to turn uh, most of the settings on if you want to see the Teams integration feature. So one is turn on enhanced team integration which allows spinning of records and views to Teams ch channel directly from Dynamics 365 and suggest members to be added. Then you can turn on the confidential labels, turn on the linking of D365 records to Teams channel. Uh, and then here, turn on Microsoft Teams chat for all the apps. So I've just made it for all the apps. And below here, you can selectively connect Teams chat to Dynamics 365 record. 
so product account email case all those things and then you can even add a record types over here okay so this is like uh, i can add a record type from here i can choose the record type and once this record type is created this is what the case settings is all about it allows you to connect the chat automatically name the chat disconnect chats new connected chat so it will give you all those kind of information uh, so you can configure those settings over here now coming back to this case thing now a customer has requested for a case uh, to be raised and customer service agent alex i'm alex over here so alex is working on it and then um, he is just responding to um, the customer okay now uh, here when alex is resolving this information with the customer he'll start looking into the knowledge base and start looking into the issue register but sometimes he may not be able to find what the issue is all about okay then uh, let me select some case you know so alex may found out that this may be related to case 002 but then still is not able to resolve it so what he can do he can go here under teams chat and he'll click on new connected chat now here he'll start typing the name okay so let's assume uh, i want to check with girish so if I select Girish over here, uh, then I can uh, see that chat name is visitor Giri chat stream, which is picked from uh, the visitor. Uh, you can name anything over here, but I'll say, okay, that's fine. I'll click on start the chat. So here I can likewise start the chat with Girish. Now here I can say, hi Girish, I'm stuck with issue, you know? Here you can chat or maybe if you can blow up your team and you can also chat in this particular interface. So if you want a more rich interface, then you can start chatting with uh, over here, you know. So this is a chat which I just started. Okay, you can chat here or you can chat here as well. Now, as a user, say Girish, who is like an admin, he will receive this information and then he can say, okay, uh, ask to restart you know something like that so uh, your team member will start giving you suggestions and then you start implementing those suggestions and then you can say okay this is resolved something like that okay so that means you're collaborating with and uh, say your uh, colleagues okay now there is another way where you can you know start a consultation you can uh, transfer this case okay and you can do a whole bunch of other things uh, in this interface but this the whole purpose of integrating teams is to have that conversation with the customer now there is an another thing like if you you can also elevate to another channel from here now you can go into voice call so if you think that you need to speak to the customer you can start a voice call or a video call so let me start a video call with the customer and allow now what might happen is customer will start receiving those uh, video call request and then let me accept the video call and this is what i'm going to see okay so i'm just closing this i just wanted to show you how the teams integrate with dynamics 365 omni channel application so i can do those things as well in uh, say communication panel so likewise there are like multiple things we can do uh, now if uh, nothing is working fine you know what i can do there is something called a swarming you know so i can create a new swarm request okay whereby i can talk to uh, an expert okay now i can't demonstrate that directly let me see if i can show you uh, how to enable those swarming requests so for that you may need to go into say customer service hub okay and try finding out uh, the case for which you are working on okay because uh, the swarming request uh, usually starts with a case okay so if you are working on say specific case okay let me go into say all the cases 
And if I'm here, then if I'm inside this particular case, so this is the case form which gets open for swarming. You know, if you see here, case form for swarming. And here I can create a swarm, okay? Now here I can create a swarm and then I can say, okay, this case is not getting resolved by me. Let me create a swarm. And then uh, based on that swarm request, uh, I will contact different people. So uh, say, you can say I've already tried restarting PC. And you just and you will say, hey, okay, for this I might need say Power BI uh, skill set, okay? And then you say save and send. Now what might happen is like uh, once you say that you need some assistance with regards to Power BI skill, the team will uh, in the back end it will start pulling up users who has that expertise. Now. Alex is that expert and he has said that, you know, Dynamics 365 added Gary Shippel to this chat. And now from this interface, uh, we have created technically a swarm of people who can collaborate on the case. Now here as Girish, I can see a swarm request has come and I can start collaborating, okay? And I will product, uh, put some suggestion as an expert. So. So this is an, another touch point in uh, Dynamics 365 whereby if you have a swarm request coming, uh, then you can uh, get all the people involved within the team. So swarming is basically if an agent is not able to resolve a request, it will start contacting a wider group of audience who has an expertise on a specific skill set for which the case demands. And then those swarm requests will be sent to the relevant users within your organization and then the user can chip in and start contributing. So that's it folks. This is all about integrating teams within Dynamics 365 customer service omnichannel application. Thanks for watching.